y'all are y'all seeing this wig like what are y'all seeing this wig i was gonna try and do like some different styles and like all these other crazy styles but baby this is the bust down middle part wig that that's it did what it was supposed to do. Thanks for coming back to my channel, y'all. It's your girl, Nizzy Mac, and I'm back on the track. Thanks for dropping by, you guys. Thanks for dropping by. We got another synthetic wig review coming at ya. Coming at ya. Outre, outre, y'all are doing the dang thing, okay? So this unit was actually provided to me by blackhairspray.com y'all okay um so i've worked with them in the past before you guys um, of course all the information will be down in the description box as well as the link to where you can purchase the shoe that you guys so let me go ahead and get into it also if y'all are new here make sure you give this video make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified uh, whenever it is that your girl post, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this unit, y'all. This one, wow, wow. So this is Outre, another uh, 360 lace front wig. I did review the other one. Um, please make sure y'all check that out. I'll leave that up above right there. Um, this is the the, um, the other one that they have. I have this one in the color, I mean the color. Uh, this is called Valor, and I have her in the color too, you guys. I was looking for, um, I wanted that two color. I was gonna do a 1B, but I'm like, nah, this needs to give like human hair. So I went for that two, and baby, baby, it's given. I do wanna point out one kind that I have with this unit. It's nothing bad or anything like that. I just, um, yeah, I don't know. But the hair, um, this is all the hair to the front, you guys looks good right it looks good but when you put it to the back like it looked like nothing is there you know what I'm saying like I, I don't know but I mean it looks so bomb when you pull everything to the front and you just kind of like boom it up but then you guys um, y'all see the back <laughs> it's like all the way you know what I'm saying but you know it is what it is um i think having the this little having longer i was gonna cut them because i've seen i watched reviews for other uh girls and they were like cutting it because it, it does look awkward but it doesn't if you bring it all to the front so that's what you have to do with this wig if you want it to look like that part it down the middle and the back and then bring everything to the front um otherwise you'll be looking crazy but it's it's not bad okay like you know what i'm saying it's it's giving that um that wolf cut kind of thing that i love that like the white girls do y'all know what i'm talking about and um it's just a whole bunch of layers in this front area so you can do whatever you want with the layered hairstyle like i said this is 13 by 6 you guys the parting area goes all the way to the back as y'all can see my wig cap is like I'm trying to cock block or whatever <laughs> but yeah this one is so bomb you guys installation was super easy so make sure you guys stay tuned i'll show you guys um the wig straight out of the box as well as how i um did everything and you know how we you know how we do i'm gonna show y'all how to get it to look like this okay so make sure y'all stay tuned for that and as always thank you so much for watching bye all right, y'all, so here we is with the Outre, Outre 360 13 by 6 Again, this is Valor, and I have her in color 2, and they come in these pretty little orange boxes, baby. So, yes, I'm just showing y'all that. Um, so, this is the wig out of the box. Um, it comes, like, super, like, neatly prepackaged. Like, they try to preserve the lace and the baby hairs and the curls, and um, it's just really, like, well put together. So, you will need to throw a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, because they want to keep it, you know, preserved, which I appreciate, okay? Um, so, like, uh, so since this is a 360, there is lace all around. And you are able to pull it up into a ponytail and do, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. This one's very versatile, y'all. So, um, this one I did um, go ahead and pluck and flat, com uh, uh, flat comb. Hot comb the edges. So, that's what y'all see me doing. I always start off and uh, um, hot comb the, the hairline flat. And I get those baby hairs out of the way because they, um, the baby hairs be mad thick. Like, 
just adult hairs, you know what I'm saying? Like, so get them out of the way, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pluck. Um, this one comes pre plucked, you guys, like, it's really natural looking on its own. Um, but you guys know I am super extra, and I wanted, you know, I'm going for a certain look, so I did go ahead and pluck some more, you guys. I did, I did use my fa my infamous tweezer scissors y'all know I, I talk about them in every video because that makes plucking synthetic units way much easier like oh my goodness you know what I'm saying so that's what y'all see me doing I'm just plucking the hairline and getting it a little bit more natural for my liking again this is optional but this is I'm just showing you guys what all I did um so I did go in and finish with some regular tweezers in the front you guys this is a human hair blend and the lace on this is super soft so be careful when plucking this because it can rip it's very easy to rip because the lace is so soft and the hair comes out like better unlike a synthetic unit you guys know what i'm saying like this one it actually plucks like human hair plucking a human hair versus a synthetic wig is totally different but this one is like somewhere in the middle okay so i, I went ahead and um i went ahead and put the like uh cut the lace a little bit um because it was a little bit too big like it was covering my um ear so that's what you guys see me just chew chewing off <laughs> taking off just like a little bit of the um ear tabs uh just so that i can get it to fit like right above my um ear but yeah this this stuff you is it's optional it depends on your head size you may need to cut it you may not um as you guys can see it was just it just needed to be cut like it just did <laughs> so um once that was cut i went ahead and cut the lace off as well as tinted the lace with my um foundation you guys i did that off camera now you guys i'm getting ready to lay this unit i'm getting ready to lay her down girl so um i used the got to be i ran out of my ebon so i was just using whatever i had you gotta use what you got okay uh, but yeah use your wig lace glue whatever you prefer um, and I usually work in sections. I always say I work in the front and then I do one side and then the other side. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm working on that front section and pulling everything down into the, uh, into the, 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 um, the hairspray. Also make sure that the hairspray is tacky first, um, and not like still like running, you know what I'm saying? So get that down. And then I went in with my air, my, uh, blow dryer on cool and it just kind of further sets everything where it needs to be and i'm just kind of pressing the lace into my skin um so i went ahead and like laid the whole unit down i'm not gonna do too much talking about this part because i do it every video um just lay it down girl get it get it going lay her down now this one i didn't you i didn't do no baby hairs y'all i did not do any baby hairs on this unit um which is rare but it just really did not need it like i just didn't feel like it needed it um, but here is here you guys see me pulling all the hair to the front and there was some minimal shading with this one um, I was gonna style this one, but I'm like You know the front is kind of short and then the ends are kind of like this one I was like unsure what to do But I'm like let me do the middle part because I think the bangs can fall forward which they did and you know it gave a very scissor look which y'all know that we do much on this channel because I love scissor and scissor is my boo even though she don't even know but yeah <laughs> so I went ahead and did a middle part you guys this is 13 by 6 so you do get six inches of parting space oh look at all that parting space and don't mind my wig cap I didn't know it was like all the way back there until like now while I'm editing the video so I'm like ugh. But yeah, don't mind it. But yeah, that's six inches, y'all. You can do whatever and get like extremely creative with this hair. Um, so I just combed out the, the curls. Um, y'all know anytime it has curls in the wig, I'm combing it out because it makes it look less wiggy. But as you guys can see, I'm trying to play with the hair. Um, it's definitely an awkward like length once it's, it definitely looks awkward once it's combed out because like what is this little piece? Of hair and it, it kind of makes you want to cut it but once you get like everything um, once I seen like what I was going for I wound up not cutting it um, like I talked about earlier um, now I'm going in I'm just uh, further flattening and defining that middle part y'all um, you will need to do that with these units because they come all the hair comes like pushed towards the back um, so you will need to kind of like you know get it flat um, so I, here I'm using my press powder I went in um, on top of the hairline as well as in the part um, just because the, the lace is very like it's not white but it's neutral 
Um, so if you're darker skin, you definitely will need to tint it. So that's what you guys see me doing. I'm just using some pressed powder. That's the color of my skin tone and just press and getting it in the part in the lace areas. Um, now for this part, um, I like the way the bangs feel. Um, you need to brush them like all the way to the back and then push them to the front. And that's what you guys kind of see me doing, just playing with the bang. I did not cut anything on this unit. This is exactly how it comes. Like, this is exactly how it comes, y'all. Like, it's bomb, okay? You do will, you will have to play around with this and get it, like, to your liking. I was thinking about cutting it, but I'm like, no, because every time I cut it, it's like, jacked up or or I or will regret it earlier or I will regret the decision made you know so I just left it alone um but I honestly think that bang could have used like just a tiny bit off um because it kept falling like really weird but over other than that like this one was just flawless so keep playing with it until you get it how you want and um once I got it how I want I don't think I showed it on camera but I did like kind of hairspray it so it kind of stayed in that um you know in that shape or whatever but other than that girl this one is so bomb i really had a good time with this one um i usually like my like to cut my units like this and the fact that this one already comes like this like i'm so like this is so bomb y'all you can't tell me nothing like this is a unit that I would just wear on a regular. And I didn't have to do no baby hairs. You guys always ask me not to do baby hairs one time. And here y'all go. Here y'all go. <laughs> this one is real cute, you guys. Let me know would you guys wear this one or would you try it. Let me know if you have this one. Let me know what styles you guys styled her in. Also, let me know if you cut her. I want to know if you cut this one. <laughs> that wraps it up for today's review. I know it's a little longer than usual, but, um, you know, we got time today. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting me, guys. I really appreciate it. And, as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.